Hey everyone, and welcome to another hemp tip. Today, we'll be going over some tips on germinating your hemp seeds. There's a lot of germination methods out there, with the paper towel method being my personal favorite. But most of the time, the reasons why we do this is glossed over. So let's go over that real quick. The reason I like germinating hemp outside of just dropping it in the soil is to both increase the germination success rate and to ensure that a seed has germinated before planting it. This is because to germinate a seed, it needs three things, water, oxygen, and the right temperatures. While placing a seed in the soil generally places it in the correct temperature range of around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, overwatering the soil can cause a lack of oxygen, which can kill the seed or cause root rot, which at this stage is known as damping off and underwatering can prevent the seed from ever germinating or if it does germinate the dry soil can cause the taproot to wilt. These are sort of extreme examples since with a good potting mix and proper drainage 99 times out of 100 you won't run into these issues but for that one time it might have happened Germinating a seed outside the soil with something like the paper towel method could have prevented it. The other reason is for the peace of mind and time saved from knowing a seed is viable early on. Hemp seeds are different from most other seeds due to the cost of each one. With each seed being so hard to get, most people aren't able to just grow a bunch and sort it out once some of them germinate, like they can do with most other crops where the seeds are practically free. So if you're going to spend the time on germinating one seed at a time, it makes more sense to ensure that they're viable first, otherwise you're going to prolong the waiting process from a few days to a few weeks before you know if they popped out of the soil. Now onto the paper towel method. I usually use a tray to hold the paper towel after wetting it and then placing the seeds inside of it just so I have easy access to check up on it now and then. But this also means that I have to re-wet the paper towel once or twice a day to make sure that it doesn't completely dry out. And I'm not gonna lie, I have killed a batch of seeds before because I forgot about them and let the paper towel completely dry. So instead, you can also just place the paper towel inside of a Ziploc bag or Tupperware, which will help retain the moisture until the seeds are germinated. And seeds really don't need that much oxygen, so they're not going to use up the oxygen in the Ziploc bag or Tupperware. This method is more of a hassle when you finally need to take them out, but you don't run the risk of drying out a germinated seed. One last quick tip is that if you want to germinate your seeds a little quicker, scuffing the outside walls with something like sandpaper can help reduce the time it takes to germinate, as this will allow the moisture to have an easier time of penetrating through the outer seed wall ensuring that it reaches the seed embryo, which is what triggers the germination process. One easy way to do this is to just line the walls of something small, like a bottle or box with sandpaper. Drop in the seeds, cover it up, and give it a good shake. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.